A Bay Area radio station that filled a unique niche is no more tonight, and its faithful listeners say they are experiencing withdrawal. Energy 92.7 featured a high-octane playlist and had a huge gay following. But now its voice has been silenced. KTVU's Heather Holmes is live in San Francisco with this story. Heather. Julia, uh, listen. There is indeed something missing tonight here in San Francisco after five years of playing dance music all day and all night and entertaining listeners with its wacky morning show. New owners have pulled the plug on the gay oriented only in San Francisco FM radio station Energy 92.7. I left for vacation, I come back, that day they're gone. Loyal energy listener Braxton Cahill dialed into his favorite radio station only to find out a lot had changed while he was away. 92.7 River. The station had been sold, the format changed, and more than 30 employees let go. It was a, kind of a little bit of a surprise, but it's been five great years in San Francisco, and now we're looking forward to a new challenge. Greg Sherrill of the station's hugely popular Fernando and Greg Morning Show sassed his way into the daily lives of listeners. He says the station, the last independently owned station in San Francisco, did more than just get people going in the morning with high energy dance music, but it employed openly gay DJs and supported LGBT causes. In so many other stations, the gay guy is the one they make fun of or just the kind of the character. And in this station, all the gay, you know, the gay personalities really had a, a big voice on the station and we were a part of it. And I think the community really responded to that and felt like they had a voice as well. Tonight in San Francisco's Castro district, there is disappointment. 92.7 was born out of the need for having a place to dance in your car on the bridge while you're waiting in traffic and it's so sad to see that it's gone now. Listeners have launched an online effort to keep the dance music alive with folks from as far away as South Carolina joining the effort. And I am so upset and sad. It's, it's like a, a friend of mine died because all these people that work there are playing the best music ever. The new owners, identified as Golden State Broadcasting, flipped to a top 40 format, calling itself 92.7 The Revolution. Greg, the gay sportscaster, says he's not part of this revolution, but stay tuned. We're not dead yet, as Pink would say. Greg and Fernando plan to stay together and are hoping to land another gig here in the Bay Area. In the meantime, you can check out their podcasts on iTunes. We did try to reach out to the new owners about this format change, but they don't broadcast locally and were unavailable for comment. Reporting live tonight here in the city's Castro District, I'm Heather Holmes, KTVU Channel 2 News. The Rev sucks.